This TV Mass is brought to you live by Philippine Long Distance Telephone SME Nation. Success through technology with PLDT SME Nation. Let us celebrate the Lord our God. Let us celebrate the gift of life. And let us celebrate the gift of faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we are here gathered once more this Sunday to sincerely ask God's forgiveness and mercy. So for all those times that we fail to love Him by loving our neighbor, let us ask God's forgiveness and mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest.
Let us pray. O God, who manifest your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow we pray your grace abundantly upon us and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The prophet Ezekiel tells us that what ultimately counts is our decision to turn to the Lord. His oracle is an invitation to those who have said no to change their ways and take the path that leads to life. The first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, You say the Lord's way is not fair. Hear now, house of Israel. Is it my way that is unfair? Or rather, are not your ways unfair? When someone virtuous turns away from virtue to commit iniquity and dies, it is because of the iniquity he committed that he must die. But if he turns from the, from the wickedness he has committed and does what is right and just, he shall preserve his life. Since he has turned away from all the sins that he has committed, he shall surely live. He shall not die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 
Jesus emptied himself of his dignity as Son of God to become like us and save us. In the end, he received glory because of his obedience. Our second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in the Spirit, any compassion and mercy, complete my joy by being of the same mind with the same love, united in heart, thinking one thing. Do nothing out of selfishness or out of vain glory. Rather, humbly regard others as more important than yourselves, each looking out not for his own interest, but also for those of others. Have in you the same attitude that is also in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance, he humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To give glory and honor to the Holy Gospel, please stand. Proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the chief priests and elders of the people, What is your opinion? A man had two sons. He came to the first and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. He said in reply, I will not. But afterwards changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. He said in reply, Yes, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did his father's will? They answered, The first. Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you. Tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him, but tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet even when you saw that, you did not later change your minds and believe him. The good news of our salvation. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang buhay sa ating lahat. Magandang buhay, Father. We thank the Lord for a beautiful Sunday morning that He has given us. On the way here, it took me only 15 minutes. Okay. Coming here from Quezon City, sabi ko walang traffic. Thanks be to God. But later on, we have to prepare for another traffic. Okay. And yet, the Lord gives us the opportunity to pray today. Amen? Okay. I saw a friend of mine. Nagpakulay ng buhok. Okay. Nagpakat ng buhok. Sabi ko, what happened to you? Sabi na aking kaibigan, Father, nagbreak kasi kami ng boyfriend ko. Okay. Ah, really? Sabi ko, o ba't ka nagpagupit ng buhok? Nag- nag-break kami, nasaktan ako. Okay. And then I ask her, nung ikaw ba ay nagpakulay ng buhok at nagpaputol ng buhok na wala yung sakit? Hindi nga, Father. Okay. ba? Diba? Change will always happen. And change is happening. A friend of mine who is here in this, in this Mass had this story. That friend of mine before was a drug user. At the same time, an alcoholic. He was into vices. Sobra. Up to a point na nakakalimutan niya ang kanyang pamilya. And the family is, you know, nasisira yung pamilya because of that vice, drugs, alcohol. But you know the wife, what the wife did and the children? The wife and the children stayed with him up to a point that the wife really encouraged him to undergo rehabilitation. At first, that person said, no, I don't like to be rehabilitated. And yet, the wife and the children stayed there because they love each other. And up to a point that when my friend has undergone rehabilitation, they found Jesus in their life as a family. And now, for many years, they are serving in the church. They are serving in the Acts Catholic prayer community. Is that change? Yes. Maybe you have the same story. You have the same change and conversion in your life. The first reading of today, coming from Prophet Ezekiel, talks about two types of changes. Ezekiel is asking the Lord, Lord, there are some changes in our life. And what are these changes? The first one is this. A man at first is righteous. Mabait. Nagbago siya. Naging pasaway. Naging siyang unjust. He practices iniquity. Naging siyang makasalanan. At alam niyo nangyari sa taong yon. That man destroyed his life and even destroyed his relationship. From righteous, he changed into being unjust. And consequence, death, destruction. And yet Ezekiel is talking about a second change. The second change there is, at first, he is unjust. At first, he is He is doing wrong things. He is failing. And yet, there is a change. And the change there is that man became righteous. And that man gained his life. Nagkaroon siya ng buhay. At hindi lang siya, pati yung kanyang pamilya, nagkaroon din ng buhay. At hindi lang yung pamilya, pati yung komunidad, nagkaroon ng buhay. Ah! Two types of changes. First, it creates death. 
And the second, it's, it creates life. Where are we right now? San tayo nagbago? Nagbago ba tayo talaga? Okay. And that is echoed again in the gospel for today. A man asked his two sons, Uy, pumunta ka sa ubasan, work there. The first man, the first son said, No, but later on, the first son changed his mind. He went and worked. The second son said, Yes, mabait. Kunyo, kunyari, mabait. But in the end, he changed his mind. Hindi siya pumunta. Then the question of Jesus is, Who is then the son who followed the will of the Father? That is change. <clears throat> Bato-bato sa langit, ha? Okay. Tamaan sana tayong lahat. Marami sa atin ang ganon. Sa una, mabait. Sa paningin ng ibang mga ikaw ay mabait. Sa iyong sinasabi, salitang mabait. Pero pagdating sa gawain, hindi konektado ang iyong sinasabi sa iyong ginagawa. It is too far. You are saying yes, mabait ka, but in the end, you said no. Then what's the effect? Death, destruction. And Jesus is telling, come on, look at those who are sinful. Look at those who failed. And yet, when they changed and converted and renewed in God and repented in the Lord, what happened? They have life now. Because they have followed the will of the Father. Amen? Promises are less powerful than fruitful actions in our life. <clears throat> Marami pong salita ng salita. Kulang po sa gawa. Marami po ang maraming sinasabi, beautiful words. And yet, when you try to look at what they are doing, they cannot lift a finger for their brother or sister. Sasabi nila, oh, I am attending the Mass. Ako yung nagdadasal. Magpatawad ka. Ikaw ay kumalingan ng may sakit. Ikaw ay tumulong sa mga mahihirap. And look at them. Look at their life. True conversion must always be indicated by true and living acts of charity and love. Kung totoo pong nagbago tayo, ang pagbabago dapat natin ay kaakibat ang totoong pagtulong sa mga mahihirap. Hindi lang yan sinasabi, pero dapat yan ay nakikita sa ating mga mabubuting gawain. Mga magulang, <clears throat> gusto ko kayong kausapin. Mahirap sabihin sa inyong mga anak, anak, wag ka manigarilyo. Anak, magtipid ka. Pero, pag uwi mo sa bahay, makikita ng anak mo na ikaw ay maraming bisyo. Ikaw ay magastos. Words, actions, napakalayo. But if you like our children to learn from us in the family, then start it. Start what you say, then do it. Stop vices so that children can learn from you. We learn so much from good acts and living acts and actions. Rather than beautiful words. Because look at Jesus. Look at our Lord Jesus Christ. I like to get it from the second reading. Look at Him. Jesus Christ exemplified that action, he said. Pride, St. Paul is telling, pride would always separate us. Ang pagiging mapagmataas ay lagi nakapagpapahiwalay. Ay, totoo yun. It will make us blind. Tayo ay bulag sa kakayahan ng tao. Tayo ay bulag 
sa mga blessings ng Panginoon. Dahil ang nakikita lang natin pag tayo ay naging mapagmataas ay ang ating sarili. Ako lang ang tama, ako lang ang maganda, ako lang ang beautiful and I exist only in the world without the existence of the other. Ah, that is pride. It will separate us. But look at Jesus. Jesus is telling us, be humble. Jesus is telling us, go down. Jesus is telling us, no to pride. That are his, those are His words. But look at Him. In His life, sa buhay ni Jesus, isinabuhay niya yun. St. Paul is telling us, He is already God. But He did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. Rather, He emptied Himself and took the form of a slave, being born in the likeness of man. The Creator becomes the creature. Yung manlilikha, naging kaisa natin. That is humility. Tayo ay, si Jesus ay naging katulad natin maliban sa kasalanan. That is humility. Up to a point. Ito yun eh. Up to a point. That, because of His humility, He gave us His life for us. Binigay ni Jesus ang Kanyang buhay para sa atin. Wow! That, these are the actions of love. These are the actions of forgiveness. These are the actions of humility. True conversion is only indicated by living and true actions of love. If you are really converted, kung tayo ay totoong nagbago, then we show it in true actions of charity. My friends, my friend, who is serving in this Mass, pag minsan sinasabi niya, Father, sorry ha, may sakit ako. I cannot serve. But I am searching his heart. And the heart is, I fail to serve in the Mass because I am sick. But that, the important factor there is, I desire to serve the Lord. Gusto ko mag-serve, but I am not capable. The action is there. Even though I have pain already in my knees, makikita ko siya pag minsan naglalakad kami sa harap, pag minsan umiika-ika na yan, pag minsan nahihirapang maglakad. And yet, He serves the Lord. Pag minsan natatraffic, And yet, He serves the Lord. Those are actions that would manifest that conversion is going on. I like to thank yung kanyang wife and children. Why? Because of their true love to Him. Ang totoong pag-ibig po, endures. True love endures. And it would wait. And that love will change a person, will convert the person, and would renew the person to repent and have faith in God. Kung may mga mahal kayo sa buhay na gustong magbago, Don't let go. Let your love and let the love of God help him to change and to be converted and to repent. Ang totoong pag-ibig hindi bumibitaw. Pero ang totoong pag-ibig nakapagpapabago para tayo ay tumingin sa ating Panginoon na may tunay na pananampalataya. Pwede bang pakisabi sa katabi mo, mahal kita, magbago ka na. Amen. We all stand. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, 
maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified. I have spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to the Father that as He hear this call, we may respond consistently in words and in actions. We implore His mercy and providence as we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. May our church leaders go out of their comfort zones and heed the call of God to be heralds of the gospel by consistently helping the poor, the hungry, and victims of natural calamities and terrorism, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May our government and civil leaders find peaceful ways to eliminate the escalating violence which is brought by terrorism, corruption, and poverty, and which endangers the lives of many people, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May all teachers and catechists not only focus to the kind of education which is merely a matter of handling on the knowledge, but lay the foundation for every human being's moral conscience, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. May you, O Lord, touch the hearts of those who look only for the gain at the expense of the poor and the earth, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. Loving Father, by your spirit of love and mercy, help us to have the heart and mind of Christ, which consistently seek your will in every moment of our lives, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please remain standing as the gifts are offered to the altar.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer, to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed he himself took bread giving thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. <laughs> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Luis Antonio, our Archbishop, with Broderick, our Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Camillus, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Sa pamamagitan ni Kristo, kasama niya at sa Kanya, ang lahat ng parangal at papuri ay sa iyo, Diyos samang makapangyarihan kasama ng Espiritu Santo. Magpakagsawalang Ang Diyos, dahil mahal na mahal niya tayo, ang kanyang pag-ibig na inaalay ay siyang makapagpapabago sa atin. Let our love to one another endure and renew us in faith in our God. So together as one community, loving each other, we offer this beautiful prayer to our Father in heaven. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit, let us offer each other a loving sign of peace. Jesus, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are invited to partake in this meal. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those of you who are unable to receive Holy Communion, especially our brothers and sisters who are joining us in this TV Mass, we invite you to pray with us this prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot, at this moment, receive you sacramentally, come, at least spiritually, into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Oh. Mm-hmm. 
Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. In celebration of National Catholic Month, we will have a second collection in support of our catechists who are teaching, especially the children and the youth in the public schools. Thank you for your generosity. On behalf of the Acts Catholic Prayer Community, we would like to thank all those in one way or the other expressed their support for the recent recently concluded outreach of the community. Ito po ay nangyari kahapon sa Barangay Kalawis, uh, Antipolo City. Mga drive niya mga two hours paakyat ng mga bundok. We, we, hindi ko lang masasabing the community, lahat po tayo, we serve the indigenous people and the, the poor and the marginalized families there. So just to report to you, for the past Sundays we had, there was a collection for the, for the outreach. We were able to collect 104,769 pesos from the second collection here. At yun po ay napunta sa mga tao, sa mga bata, sa mga katutubo kahapon. I cannot really express how, how much gratitude I felt really yesterday, especially with the Dumagats. They traveled starting 4 a.m. tomorrow to reach the 8 a.m. Mass. Four hours po silang naglalakad sa bundok. Sabi nila, yung putik ay kasing lalim hanggang tuhod pag sila ay naglalakad. And yet, they were able to reach where we are. And I think that's not, it's not the, our own credit. But firstly, the credit should go to our Lord Jesus Christ. And the credit should go to the whole community here who has been supporting the Acts Catholic Prayer Community. So palakpakan po natin ang bawat isa. That mission is not the mission of the community only, but that mission is the mission of the church. Amen? Amen. These are acts, living acts of true conversion. We would like to invite you this coming Wednesday for our healing Mass here in the Chapel of the Eucharistic Lord. And of course, on October 28, we'd like to invite you for Jesus Encounter Seminar from 8 to 6 p.m. in Buklod ng Pag-ibig Healing Center. This is the Jesus Encounter Seminar of the Acts Catholic Prayer Community. Spread the love. We all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Loving Lord, we thank you for this beautiful day that you have given us. We heard you once more. We heard your words. And may your words of love, of care, and forgiveness be in our actions towards our brothers and sisters. Help our hearts to be converted according to your heart. Help our being to follow your will. And Lord, maraming salamat at hindi mo kami binibitawan. You are always there. You never fail us. You never give up on us. Lord, thank you. Thank you for your love. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go and spread the love. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.